how to do it, but I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but I'm gonna spend my whole life, my whole life trying to figure it out. Seven pounds, nine ounces, your champion is Jacob Wheeler. Your 2012 Forest Wood Cup champion, Jacob Wheeler. He is the youngest BFL All-American champion ever. The youngest Forest Wood Cup champion in history. It, it means the world. It is the biggest thing that's ever happened in my life. He won the second stop at Table Rock. Wow! Unbelievable! Jacob Wheeler makes history! The run continues for Wheeler. To open it, man. All right, guys, welcome. Day one on Smith Lake. It's here. About an hour before takeoff, eh, 45 minutes or so. Grabbing a quick cup of Joe and hope to spot a bass bite. multitasker. He does it all. He's a, yeah, that's a good way to say it. Uh, yeah. And so, anyway, our plan is to catch a few bass today. Ten bass, ten total scoreable bass is the goal. Ten scoreable. Two pounders, five pounders. Make sure you check out all the action at This weather is calm, nice. It's gonna be 75 degrees the next three days, so should be good. Whew. All right, y'all, stage three, day one is here. Time to go. We will see you guys out in the water. Wish me luck. Let's ride. You know, I uh, I spent most of my practice looking around, fishing offshore, trying to find fish that I could, you know, sit and make one cast and catch, but I've not been able to do so. So, not found anything that I'm really confident in. There's a lot of spotted bass when I'm trying to sort of target, getting around some of these little rocky, shoaly banks, and some of them just sort of flatter, it just depends. You just gotta cover water. And nine ounces. First score bowl of the day. Not a great big one, but we got us one. One nine. All right, we aren't going blank. That's a good thing. Hmm, it's interesting. I'm not seeing. I caught that sucker out in the middle of no man's land. I mean no man's land. Fat. We'll see. One pound, eight ounces. Yes. <laughs> that one. We got us. That one came on the chicken wraps, son. All right.
You sucker. Gosh dang it. Mm-hmm. Got us one. A little jig and wrap action. Heck yeah. Hey. Golly. Just lost one caught one. One pound, 13 ounces. A little bit better one right there, but we gotta keep we gotta find this thing. Uh I'm not I'm just it's like one here, one there. I'm literally pitching to him with a this is just a little jig and wrap. Wrap what you're gonna wrap and just pitching to them with 12 pound suffix line. And I mean, it's one of my favorite ways to catch them. Water's dirty. It's crazy that they're even biting it, but they are. I broke him off. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. There we go. Chicken wrap. Guys, one. Jeff lost a couple great, good, good ones right there. Two pounds, 11 ounces. <laughs> Just 211. All right. Chicken wrap. A little bit of chicken wrap action. Unbelievable. <laughs> It's, it just tells you right there, you just never know how you're going to catch a bass. And I probably, I anticipated I was going to catch, I was going to catch one in crankbait. And I just, I'm like, well, and, and then we still might. It just, it's just, it's a progression of it all. You got to sort of go around and fish and you see one here, you see one there. And that's crazy, especially with these water conditions and being muddy and nuts. These are all just singles and. Maybe one, oh, I just had him on the bottom. Sorry, y'all. There he is. That's a decent one. Come on, don't come off. Don't do it, please. I don't know if it's a decent one or not, man. Right there. One pound, nine ounces. Right there. So that's exactly what we've been doing. Only I could get hung up in the middle of a no man's land. Oh. Ginormous one. No, no, it's not actually that big of one, but that's a dang. Non scoreable. <laughs> Stripe, you good? I almost didn't pitch to you. You look like a dang striper for a second. One pound, nine ounces. Now over to Jacob Wheeler. Spots, man. I, was like, I knew I was gonna get by right there. One pound, fifteen ounces. Yes, sir. Ever been bit by a wiener dog? Me I too. have. Me too. Oh, unpleasant. Day two pounds, one ounce. Put him in sixteenth place. Away from that chaos. We get Jacob Wheeler, the leader. 20th is currently Brett Height with 8 pounds, 14 ounces. Hey, that's the show. I feel like 
good one. Not a very big one, but I... Mm. That was Bobby Lane-esque. Right there, he's fat. Grab. That was. One pound, six ounces, non-scorable. Fat, but not long enough. Fat, but not long enough. Buddy would have done it. He's been in this position so many times, he can constantly plan ahead. Other guys are just thinking, man, I hope I can go out there and get a bite. <laughs> he knows he's going to get lots of bites. He's strategizing for what he might do in the championship round and having a couple of days off and, and all those sorts of things because it's happened so many times he's getting accustomed to it. Good one. Sucker. That's when it's your day. Come on, the guys, you sucker. Uh-uh. Not today. Three pounds, three ounces. Mm. <laughs> the fish came on. Oh, oh yeah, the bait went flying over his shoulder. Unreal. Well, that. Y'all see that? That's incredible. Oh, we're I was gonna like getting one hook and it's going. Tr -tr 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 -tr. Oh, I got him. Three pounder though. Beautiful fish. All right, baby. Now you can go back. <laughs> so Wheeler adds oh a 3-3. Three, three. That's his largest of the day. Just barely. Watch huh? this when he gets yeah. down to lift this fish. You're going to see the bait go flying over his right shoulder. And he still ends up getting it. Right there, the fish is free. See the bait going? Look, and he reaches down there and still gets it. Have we ever seen that work out? Ever. Uh, I think that's the first time. Well, he does everything else for the first time. Why not that? <laughs> Efficient. That is calm. Incredible. He was sitting with the striper. Dang, man, you're, you're baldy. One pound. 10 ounces. Just another 110. Boom. Yes, sir. Got that one. <laughs> Like, <laughs> Two pounds, three ounces. Yes, sir. A little spot of bass. That was a uh, that was a fun day of fishing. <laughs> caught several fish, caught some nice ones. Um, learned a little bit, you know, and and not going to. Uh, not going to lock myself into one thing, but definitely wanted to make hay when I could. Um, obviously, today worked out to perfection. I didn't know exactly how it was going to play out, but uh, I'm obviously pretty happy about it. So that was freaking fun. Jay, we don't ever suck. All right, y'all. Ended up leading the round, day one. It's been pretty fun. Obviously, uh, I didn't get all the footage. Some of the stuff got messed up a little bit. And cameras turned off, and the fish were biting, so I just tried to reel them in. But we got enough. You got an idea what went down. Um, hold up one second. So we caught several. Um, caught them in a way I didn't know exactly how I was going to catch I didn't think I was going to catch them that way. but. You know, just sort of let the day come to me, and it was it was obviously a lot of fun. So we'll see what happens here in a bit, and uh, we got to do a couple little bit of interviews, and then get back down after them in a couple of days. I think Libby and everybody's coming to town, so it'll be a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. John, John Tyler. All right, hey y'all, y'all, y'all heard it here first. John Tyler, subscribe to the channel. Also. 
big bass fisherman. Hey, man, I appreciate you, man. We're going to try to get it, get you a couple the next day. They just had the high school tournament. What did it take to win that high school tournament? Uh, 16, 16. Somebody called it a bag. Yeah. Hey, cr cruddy conditions and big <laughs> giant spots. Hey, doink! They bite. They bite then, especially when y'all had a lot of 13. rain. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I got you, uh, man. That was a lot of fun. Really cool to see some 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 really cool fans. A lot of people came out. Um, man, gee, many Christmas. Grabbing them, dude. I lost a three pounder. You off the show? I don't even know if the GoPro is on. No joke. Freaking three pounder comes up, throws my jigging wrap, and I grab the sucker out of the freaking water. No hooks on him. Bear paw that sucker. Did it. If we don't have the footage, I'll have to have Birdie. Birdie will have to get it off. It, it was pretty. I was like, got you, sucker. <laughs> Roll that footage right now if we don't got it, Brody. Roll it right now. All right. I told you all that was crazy. Absolutely crazy day. Jig and wrap was the name of the game. Whoa. About to get shook off this road right here. A lot of fun. We're going to go back. I'm sure we'll have to hear something from DC. You'll have to say something. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like farm pond. Yo, farm pond. <laughs> anyway, let me do that. That's hilarious. Bravo, indeed. <laughs> yeah, you hey, dirty God. dog. Hey, yes, you're rigging all your stuff up. What'd you uh -huh. catch? Huh? You catch any old dogs? Stocks. Did you really? Huh? Yo, you got uh, a. Yeah, I might, I might have borrowed swivel from you. Oh, hell, you can have this back. Hey, man, that, whoa, that, whoa, that piece. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> God, hey, man. Hey, every time I get that damn bear, I don't catch crap. <laughs> bro, big dog. Man, you can be a Bobo any me. day of the week, bro. Hey, little Marshall, he got a. Hey, look, little Marshall for president. Let me see that pin. Yo, Unbelievable, bro. Little Marshall. No, we're not bringing Jimmy D. Jimmy back. Ding hey. needs to come back. No, hey, Jimmy Ding gonna... does not hey. need to come back. He's no, coming back. No lie. We can bring Jimmy Ding. I smash with Jimmy Ding. Man, hey, listen. I did. We can do this. Y'all can bring Jimmy Ding, and then I'll take a little more, and then we'll swap back. Nah, it, Jimmy Ding needs to come, and he always needs to sit right in between our grass, so we just stare at him <laughs> <laughs> the whole day. No. All right, y'all. Oh. Breakfast serve. A little coffee. I've been doing that the B. Whole Brett, DC's camera dude. Good dude. Hooked it up. Hooked it up with some wings last night. And we're eating them for breakfast as well. We're not gonna. We're not gonna waste them now. Adrian was smarter than we were. We went to just eating. These, these wings just like whatever. Microwave. Like a microwave them. <laughs> microwave and up. Adrian yeah, we went the oven. oven. Oh, That's smart. Good. That's smart. You put them on the oven, they say crispy. Way to go. The difference <laughs> is you gotta wait on it though. And I don't feel like waiting. I'm hungry. You gotta wait. Hey, show the people how you eat that wing, Mark. You like your right. Hey, all my wing people out there, first of all, you're not eating wings unless the bone is in. So them tenders and like boneless, them ain't wings. Them is like chicken. Yeah, hey, didn't even know that existed. Remember that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Second, if you got them big hunks of meat on the ends of your chicken, don't talk to me. Look. I, I ain't got there yet. That's how a chicken wing supposed to look when you get done with him, right? Naked and afraid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if your chicken wing don't look like this when you done, bro, don't talk to me. Don't drop a comment. Don't leave a like. <laughs> don't do nothing. <laughs> we ain't cool. Unbelievable. Hey, DC disrespects that... the hell out of some chicken. <laughs> Just disrespect him. Yeah, yeah, he eats like a bird. Man. I've never <laughs> seen anybody that eats like DC. No. Hey, we need to like sneakily put this in the video. The next meal we have, you're gonna see how he eats. Yeah. All right, y'all, what's up? This is the deal. We're heading yeah, to the tax we, store. Yeah, we're driving a race car. We're right driving now, Brody's car right now. We yeah. literally hijacked his stuff. Fast and the Furious. I'm back here with my head stuck on the damn roof. <laughs> I finally put my seatbelt on when Adrian drives. I know. I didn't see him driving. So we gave you easy. So it's all good. All right. So we're gonna head to the tackle store. Adrian. Uh, Adrian called the guy up, asked if he had some chicken wraps. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey man, you got you got any of them chicken wraps? Hey, Jacob <laughs> called him. <laughs> he said, man, oh, no, we got no luck, man. We, we, well, normally, they don't catch them on that bait around here. Yeah, but 
Uh, hold on, let me find out. I wouldn't say that. All right, so we'll check back in here in a Man, bit. But we, good. yeah, I need to focus That's on it. driving this yeah. car. So you need to be my navigation, bro. I got you, brother. Here, go right We we about to drive this into a, into a dream. <laughs> Literally, Brody's watching this. Yeah, he yeah. watches like editing this video, car. and he literally be like, "Bro, oh my gosh, don't do it, guys. Don't do it." <laughs> Uh, we'll check back soon. All right, so this is the deal. We just got done, stopped in a little tackle shop right here. Actually, a pretty good little tackle store. Those are vans. 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 Solid. Vans. Not too bad. Around this area, no doubt. We grabbed uh, Adrian Loki, forgot his wallet. How'd that happen, bro? I actually do that actually quite a bit. But. Oh, it's like it got me, man. So I. Uh, Unbelievable. Hey, we're about to play for a ping pong. I no, you. ain't no way. Boy, sir, I no way. Hey, no we way. On? I'm a I'm a tackle junkie. So I got some like old school snag proofs. I bought like ten of those. We got some O-rings. I got some chunks. I don't even know what all I got. Oh, I bought some sw a swim bait color I didn't I've never seen before. You just gotta pick some stuff up. I don't even know if I'll ever throw it, but I got it. Yeah, he needs them right offs. <laughs> No, that's not how you got. You got to you got to utilize it somehow, some way. So that's that's the plan. I, I, there's always a reason why you buy something. Better be, so better be. Anyway, all right, we're gonna check back in. Mark is left somehow. Mark, bro, I got the craziest story. Let me see that. Give me, give me. Go give ahead, me talk, 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 talk. Look, let me tell you all this story right here. A lot going on this week, though. We won't get into the details of that with me and some family and stuff. But uh, long story short, man, I left literally the most important box in your whole entire boat at home. My hooks and weight box, okay, is at home. I had to call my wife, had to have her overnight it. She overnighted it two days ago, it got here, but we're staying at the lake house with some weird address. Long story short, the post office people couldn't find it. And so now I'm trying to track down my box, man. It's just, it's been nuts. I don't know. So, don't know. So, so this is the crazy thing, this is the crazy thing. So hey. Mark's been throwing his wacky worms on Eagle Claw size number 12. Bluegill <laughs> <laughs> looks. <laughs> Not Eagle losing claw. nothing. Not losing them. Adrian's using the most, the highest grade Japanese hook you possibly buy. I lost seven of them yesterday. So if you guys are looking for a new wacky hook, Mark might be able to help you out with that. Picked up at the Walmart down the street. He's good to go. Pretty solid little wacky hook. He might come out with a new MDJ Signature Series wacky hook. Bye, Eagle Claw. Bye, Eagle Claw. <laughs> hey, where are we at, Mark? Hey, look at it. Look at oh, it. Oh, man. He never it's got it. it. What is it, bro? What is it? What you got? Hey. It overnighted it, but it took it a week, but we got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got it. We overnighted it. We overnighted it, but we got it in a week. We got it. We got her done. That's about how it is. So Mark is up, up, up in his game from the Eagle Claws. Now he don't got a bum no weights off. Yeah, Lee Brody's got this thing. I don't even know how you put this thing together. You got it? I'm trying to get it. Kid in the candy store. All right, let's ride. Let's get back to the house. Oh, hold on. We're about to get this guy. Hi, Livy. Did you come to see me? Yeah. You miss me? Yeah. Yeah, I love you. Mm-hmm. Like oh love you very much. Hey, baby Hudson. What's up? Yeah. Can I get a five? It's baby Aww. Yoda. Say hi. Huh? Can you say hi? Did you miss me, Livy? Are you so excited? Yeah. Look, there's a table just for you. It's a pretty little setup for there's a those table chairs. Just for you. What are you doing, bro? Now you gotta step right here. Get her first. Oh no, she's gonna get me. Get her. Good job. What's the bet? The DC. He's trying, hey, he's trying to get me to bet. A hundred dollars on this verbal agreement about how DC caught him. Hey. Then he wants to double down. Hey, hey, we don't want no chump change, man. On ping pong. Yeah. Hey, Adrian held too good. Hey, what's the bet that he caught them all on what? On a wacky worm. On docks. I bet you every single bass DC. All right, twenty dollars. Caught hundred is is uh on a wacky worm on dock. Every one of them. Twenty dollars. Okay. And you say he caught something doing something else. All right, I gotta pay. I gotta pay a Venus. 
Yeah, look, look at this man. Had, hey, hey couple, get, get in on this right I had here. a couple single dollar bills from, I was, shooting, I was shooting dice. Shooting dice. I was in the hood shooting dice and I came up a little bit, so <laughs> I'm gonna pay him with that. Three, four, five. Hey, pavers, pavers, six, spins the same seven, way, but we all know that wasn't from nine, dice. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. See, All right. Hey, a, hey. Man, a man is yeah, you're in DC. I know. I am. Oh. Hey, DC, where are you at? Hey, hey, I had to pay. I had to set up. No, no. Adrian had to set up a PayPal account. Literally. Just so I could pay him. Adrian don't play about his money. Uh -uh. So if you if you out there, y'all watching this, you bet my boy, you better have cash on hand because hey. he's not playing. Keep that out. We're about to play some ping pong. Huh? Man, no, I, no, I want man. that whole stack by the day's over, no, man. man. You can't be. <laughs> Adrian, bro, probably, what's this about? A hot 40? Oh, you can't uh, hit me on top of the head, bro. Huh? And ping pong, bro. I was shooting dice in the hood. Alicia, you ain't never been with me. Okay. You, you ain't never been with me to the hood. Counting? It's Adrian's money. I gave you uh, all the 20. Why do you have so many ones? Because I was shooting dice in the hood. Oh. Hey, hey, we should get Alicia. We I would to, love to. I want to bring Alicia. I want to bring all you <laughs> boys to the hood, but I want to bring you to the hood and let you shoot dice in the hood. Blow, okay. your, blow your mind. Like, you have to know how to play it. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, what is You know, you like, go to the casino and you play craps? I've never played Same it. Same thing? Huh? Same rules. thing? Same thing, shooting craps in the hood, though. Well, in the like. Hood. So, we're cooking a little bit of broth, we're cooking some chicken, we're cooking some hot dogs for Olivia. A little combination of everything tonight, so. Got the old grass, gas, grass grill. The old gas grill. Yeah, see. A man in the grill, bro. A man in the grill. A man in the grill, I'm trying to. Ooh, you got it popping, too. Man yes, sir. Man hey, hey, my boy J-Dub, listen. For our viewers out there, J-Dub didn't come a long ways, man. I'm proud of this guy. Proud. He didn't, he didn't graduate. I know, I gotta, I gotta... He figured out how to catch a few bass, and now he's working on his grilling skills. You I cannot am. not like a man for working on his grilling skills. That's right, you got to. You got to, bro. You're doing great, too. Look at that. Hey, look look, look at this flip game. Look at that. Bob. Not good, but not bad. It's all right. It's not good, it's all good. Usually, I like the thighs. Margie Mark, he's all about them drumsticks. It's good, but it ain't. It ain't thigh. Uh -uh. Yeah. And it's on gas. That's okay. For you guys to know, cook them. Gut gas ain't worse. No, you need, you need charcoal. Yeah, that's fine. I can have my mother clear. Charcoal's special, okay, man. There's something mm -hmm. about charcoal. There's something about charcoal. Oh, 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 big right. Ranch, the main lake was 62 no, today. It will uh, not I'll drop five that, degrees tonight. I'll bet that. I'll bet that. Hey, what's, what's the, hey, what's the bet, like? DC? I'll bet $100. On, on what? On his graph on the ranch in the morning, it'll be 58 degrees. There's no, no under 58. it will be 58. I'll let the under. Hey, y'all see this shit? Hard off. 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 Hey, at the boat dock. What's the water tonight? Yeah, I'll make a fuck. 45? 40, 44. Hard off is 58. Hard off. 58? Hard off. I want to know. I'll be in there for an hour. I'll take a picture. Before I take off, I'll be 50, in there. 50, I said under 58. 57, 6. 57, nine, hell. Uh, it won't be that. Be don't, good, don't play with the state with that. 55. No, 57, he'll be. No, you gotta make sure it's 57 degrees this morning. He done lost that money. Oh, yeah, the fact. quickest, the <laughs> quickest hundred I've ever made. Listen, I'm not that's, that's worried about that. Too. That's a hundred dollars I'm not worried about. I Literally. I made that bet because DC always makes some stupid bets. <laughs> I always makes some gimmies. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we'll take it. What do you think, Olivia? She's ready to go. 57. No, you gotta make sure it's 57 degrees this morning. The family's here. Got some work to do today. The water continues to clean up. The water continues to drop. A little combination of it all. Fish probably will be spawning by the knockout round. If not, by today. Late today. So, we're gonna find out. Lots changing very quickly. That is what's so much fun about fishing the springtime things are constantly evolving patterns are changing things are going away things are, are ultimately coming into play so we're gonna keep our peepers on a little bit might have to put the thing wiley egg sunglasses on look around just a smidge all right little marshall what are you doing bro i'm sorry bro we did not have you anything magellan rain suit on you're a little soggy and a little wet right now we left you out here sleeping on the boat i just wanted to make sure for good luck i had you out here now, Adrian said he didn't catch nothing with him, so he wants to bring back Jimmy Dean. 
he's gonna ride with me today though. So we already we already agreed upon it. I said look, little Marshall's gonna ride with me. It's all good. Don't worry. Coming with me, bro. Freaking bear, man. <clears throat> I'm telling you, we're bringing that banana back, 100%. Because we all know. Huh? Yeah, we got them, but you still have them, right? No, I threw them in the trash. Oh my gosh, Jimmy dude. Dig. Dude, unbelievable. Jimmy D, we might have to get his brother. <laughs> we gotta get a bigger one. Johnny D. <laughs> yeah. Don. Johnny D. Hey, Don. My gosh! Ooh, I know job. it was it was a good it was a good day. I, uh, it was an unbelievable day. I didn't anticipate Johnny, that. Trust me, I did. Well, uh, my goal was to catch ten total. I was like, if I catch ten, I'll be happy. Who wants is a gumball, man? No, she can't. <coughs> I don't want to. She can't have gum. One She's free. free. She, she can't, can't have, have gum. gum. Oh, no. Gum. Harris, Harris screwed, man. <laughs> we'll choke on that for sure, huh? Look how innocent. She's looking. She's like, why not? Oh, why? Oh, I, I want, want it. it. You know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> Olivia, yeah. she's in there. She's in there. <laughs> she's right there. She's your best friend, trust me. She she's done found her best friend. She man. did, I saw that. Did we get to take her with us? Yeah, we're going to take her to drop in with her anyway. All right. Yeah, you're the Everybody, hey, congratulations, bro. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Right now, that's 11 pounds. Dude, yeah. I don't know when, but we'll get hitched. We'll get hitched. Yeah. <laughs> Might be during the next fishing season. So that, that may be that may be a uh, tight schedule. You were just hanging out, weren't you? Yeah. Mom, they get you some sunglasses. You don't wear sunglasses? I'm going to get you out here. You're going to be very careful. Jody's so hanging out. Not at all. All right. Let's get some fishing sticks for the other. We got to check the water temp. If it's 58 or over, we will lose $100. If it's below 58, Mark and I will win $100 a piece. So it'll be a $200 swing for us. Want to look right here? Here we go. And the official number, 54.9. <laughs> um, Dan, you need to come on and us. <laughs> yes. That one, the one that rose one. Yes, it was. Yeah, I got by This is the thing. A lot's going to change between now and championship round. So we're going to have to still catch probably 20 pounds probably to lock it in for sure. So, you know, that's probably we're going to try to go out here, try to look around a little bit, pan around a little bit see what's going on, see what's changing, and then ultimately if I can catch those fish fairly quick, then I can go practice and uh, ultimately go try to find maybe a new pattern that might be developing, and that's gonna be probably one of the most important things I can do for that championship round. You got me? See you, Libby. All right, y'all. Day number two, time to take care of business. We're up pretty good, but that does not mean we're guaranteed to qualify for the championship round. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 20 of these anglers will be heading off to home after today. Top 20, they will advance one step close to becoming a stage three champion. The number one guy, he'll go directly to the championship. Second through 20th, they're gonna be heading to the knockout round where the score tracker will reset. And they'll meet up our, with our guys from Group B. Then it's gonna be eight, top eight. Out of our knockout round, they're gonna go directly. That feels a little whatever it is. A little spot. Little spot. First one of the day, though. First scoreable by the morning. There we go. He was up high, about took a dive right there. One pound, 12 ounces. One pound, 12 ounces. First one of the morning. Beautiful morning out here on Smith Lake. Welcome to the broadcast if you're out here just watching. We are, uh, hey, it's always good to 
to get the first one in the boat. There's no doubt. It's always a good feeling on that side. See if we can't get another one right here. Single, he was up high. Huh. He went donkey. Mm. All right. All right, all right, all right. So many suckers are so fast, it's unbelievable. Never some seen some stuff like it. I mean, I'm Nice spot. Come here, real. Oh, you come. Come here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gotcha, didn't I? That time I did. Two pounds, eight ounces. Oh, two and a half pounder. Single, man. I'm just having fun out here, though. Low key. I am. <laughs> I'm having fun. Thing is, this right here is not bad, but it's just hard to. <laughs> They're just out. <laughs> it's unbelievable. You gotta understand. They're so goofy. <laughs> Crazy man. Yeah, I mean, it's just all time of day more than anything. The time of the day is like a lot of what it has to do, and like each day, it just changes it up a little bit differently. And and I'm in a completely different area or completely different zone. So it's all dependent on a lot. There are a lot of little variables that play into that. So that's why, yeah. It's interesting though. I don't, I, I don't, it's hard to say exactly until you really fish around. I mean, you don't even know. Could be that it's, they're scattered. Could be that they're heading to the bank, breaking up. I mean, that's, it, there, yesterday it wasn't like it was great. It was a grind. I had to catch, I had to work for every bite I got, but. I don't know what that is, but it feels big. Crappie. We're on the crappie bag now. <laughs> it is big. <laughs> well, number two. <laughs> two bass, two crappie. We're doing good. I might have stunned that one. Nope, I didn't. I saw you do that stuff. I'm about to put on. Yep, gotcha. He hit my name, Jiggin' Wrap, and then I was like, man, I got it. And then there was two of them, they broke up, and I followed him, made that perfect little pitch, and got him. Two pounds, zero ounce. Better quality for sure. Nice fish, good starter a little. We still gotta catch a big fish for heavy hitters, so. Got you, sucker. Got ya. Uh-huh. That's what's up right there. Got us another one. Just, man, it's so interesting. <laughs> so much fun when you catch them on that little chicken wrap. When they bite it so good. 
Just one of the only things you can get down there fast. One pound, 12 ounces. Another solid fish. I bet you that fish is about 15 and a half inches long. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it, dude. My dude. Got us one. That one actually was set up a little bit better. I liked where he was at. I liked where he was at. Jigging wrap position. Had to mix in the old Largo shad on him. Had to mix in the old Largo on him. A little swim bait action, man. One pound, 12 ounces. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I love this stuff, man. It is cat and mouse at its best. A lot of them will not bite, but it is so fun when they do. When they act right, they're your best friend. When they don't, you just you can't stand them. I know, it's just, oh, it's so much fun. So right now we are in pretty deep water. Yeah, he did. He played that dang game. Largo Shad. <laughs> You played that game, didn't you, bro? You're like, okay, <laughs> I'll take that Largo. You're good. Two pounds, two ounces. Oh man, let this guy go real quick. Show you guys. So, so I'm throwing a little. That's a three-inch Storm Largo shad. It's one of my favorites to throw. You hear me talk about it a lot. It's just the perfect size for the bait. It has a shad profile and a body. Really good little wobble to it. Just something a little bit different than a Kai Tech or a Kai Tech knockoff. These fish are so pressured a lot of times that you have to swim something just a tiny bit different than what they're typically used to seeing and typically it will generate a few more bites. Seems to be working so far. Literally getting on my last nerves. That's gotta be a bass too. One a three pounder. It's two and a quarter. <laughs> I fall that sucker for a half mile. You dirty dog. But I got you. Two pounds, one ounce. Two pounder. He was he was long. See, that's what got me messed up. He's long, but I got him. Okay, we gotta just all right, let's not fall out of the boat now. Oh jigging rap, oh jigging rap. So Jacob Wheeler, 57 pounds, one ounce, day one. Here today, he's caught 23-12. His lead is over 31 pounds. 15 seconds. We come to a power stop breaks. Lines Damn. out with 10 Nine, seconds. Eight, and our seven, leader, Jacob Wheeler, six, power stop breaks, lines five, out. Four, three, two, one. Lines out, end of period. All right, we're sitting pretty solid right now, and just as far as have a chance to win the round. Have not found anything that I'm like, hmm, that's a deal. Ran a few boat docks. Um, I just don't want to push something shallow until there's just so much time to develop before that actually goes down here in a couple days. So we'll sort of see what happens, but uh, we'll, sort of, we'll sort of see. I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens. The suckers should be, should be biting here this last period, so the boys are definitely going to be making moves. A day of practice essentially for Jacob Wheeler. He's going to win Group A of the Favorite Fishing Stage 3, Coleman, presented by Mercury. Could be a big largemouth. I think so. For a big, 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 big spot. One of the two. Stripe. Okay, I was like, dude, the way it hooked, I mean, it was like a three or four pounder. I was like, golly. That was not a squirrel. <laughs> nice little striper, but no way, man. Unreal. Actually, me too. All right, y'all. So this is what's up. 
we pretty much pretty much put ourselves locked in for the championship round so got that done but now this last period is really the practice period that i need to really look and figure out what might be sort of going on or finding a couple different areas new areas that i haven't fished i've really thought about going and looking in some different zones um but <clears throat> The problem is, like, I wanted to go run a good ways away. There's an area that I really had a lot of confidence in, but I just don't feel like these fish are set up for that way. So I really need to sort of stay in the area that I am. Um, just need to find more stuff like that, and then potentially just look around into pockets and docks and just sort of see what it looks like. So that way, when I'm able to, you know, qualify, I know it's gonna be raining. I know it's probably gonna be cloudy, windy, all that that stuff. Um, I, I can still make that adjustment. We run to the bank and throw top water or flip or whatever I need to do to get a bite. Um, I think it will end up actually happening. And I think a lot of these fish are actually pulling up to go spawn. But some of the fish that I'm keying on are still pre-spawn winter time transition. And uh, that's really where I've gotten to the point now. So we'll see what happens this third period. But uh, overall, been a pretty good one. And uh, I'm going to try to reel one more or two more and see what it uh, does. I guess Hey, what's up, Livy? How are you? You being good? Hold on one second. Let me give you a hug. I'll give you a hug real quick here. Nice to see you. What's up, man? How are you? Yeah, absolutely I can. Where you wanting at? We got to start on the other side today. Right here? There you are. No problem. Hey, no problem. Thank you guys for coming out. Absolutely, man. Right, man. Go, no problem. Thank you Hope so much. You I, same day, man. Absolutely. We had a good time. I can tell you, you are got to be my favorite angler. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it. For the reason that I've gotten into it. No way. Yeah, you really are. Dude, Every, I've been, I started when you were, you did a few, uh, few videos on the Elite Series, and ever since I've been hooked, and you're the reason I started fishing. So dude, you're my, you're dude, my, I you're really, my what's your name? Chase. I'm Chase, your, very nice to meet you, man. So Gosh, really dang, thank you. you yeah, no problem at all. Thank you. thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. Very much so. What up? Hi. How are you? You got five? Pop? <laughs> Libby? Dap? Where You got to pick it. Pick it out. Right there, okay. okay. Thank there, you. No problem. Thank you. Sign your ducky. Oh. Great seeing y'all. Oh, my brother caught this fish. It's a six pounder. Yeah, six pounder. On a little hook. Really? Do you make YouTube videos when you play tournaments? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's filming yeah, right I, now. I, I always, I always film. Yeah, film right now. So you put it on there. Yeah. So what do you do? You gotta speak Potentially. up. Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Carl, Carl. All right, guys. All right, we're gonna head back to the house. We're see what's going on. We're supposedly gonna uh, potentially grab a bite to eat over boys, I guess. Yeah. So, well, so we're gonna slide over there, grab some gumbo. I think Lurch has got some stuff. He's whipping some stuff up in the kitchen. We're gonna see what's going down. Say hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if Jay Dove's got that. Uh, Hey, bro, get out of here. Look, look at the fish. You catch them, <laughs> <laughs> Look how fat they are. Look at this. No. Oh. Yeah, give them some. Yo, show me that fish, man. Oh. Hey, look at this guy. He's winning. Hey, oh, blue. Oh, hey, we, hey, we about to eat good. Hey, Jay, where you at, bro? That's an eagle. Give me that one right here. That's a zillion. Daddy, catch you up. Hey, jigging around. Digging oh, rap. For real? Digging rap. They're single. Yeah. Those are those are called crappie. Can you say that? Crappie? Crappie. Baby fishy. Baby fishy? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Chicks dig, guys that can cook. And there he is right there, ladies. Look. There you go. Cafe Lerche right there. Well, they said there were 13 people yeah, coming, so I might as well go back. And he's a fox, if y'all didn't know. See, look. Hey. Yeah. Right here. I didn't know that either. 
Beat Bobby Flay right here, huh? What do you think? Huh? Beat Bo this man, I only got like six recipes, Bobby. This man Don't listen to this. Beat Bobby Flay That's right here. Yet. I guarantee you. It'd be a pretty good. It'd be a pretty good test. I'm gonna put him on. And if I can't. I've been beat up before, but anyone could have a bad day in third grade. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Come on. Does anyone want a salad? She says your name, lover. I didn't say it was bad, but. The near's fire. The near's good. In, in the east. That's an actual bass species. The rest are. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's awesome. Adrian practicing for this. Hey, we doing this right, guys? I don't care. Is, this Nina, the right is that how you hold a baby? Uh, she likes it. <laughs> He's on the other side, honey. I thought she's about to throw up her. Libby's over here. She just ate. <laughs>